party. So I would like to bring on Olawomi, Ol Olafumi Loye. <laughs> She's the president of Ibadan Grammar School Old Student Association, not America, and a cybersecurity professional. We want to hear from her, uh, hear from learn from her experience and to hear our contribution towards how we can stay safe in this digital world. Welcome, Ma. Thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. Happy International Day of the Girl Child. I'm excited uh, to be with you today. My name is Mrs. Olawomi Olafumiloye, and as, as uh, she said, I am the president of the Ibadan Grammar School All Students Association in North America. So first, I would like to say a big thank you to all the members of Ixosana, that is our association in North America, for sponsoring and making it possible for us to have this program at Ibadan Grammar School today. I also want to thank our Ixosa National President, Mr. Oladimiji Mako, and the entire NEC for their support of this program. A big thank you also to the school principal, Mr. Oladejo, and the VP Academics, Mrs. Uh, Babalola, and all the teachers and all students, uh, especially our own STEM director at Ixosana, Dr. Dejio Jetola, who have helped to put this program together at the school today. A special thanks also goes to Tech uh, Girls Club and uh, Success Way Maths Foundation, and the two speakers who spoke ahead of me, Mrs. Omolola is a former and uh, Miss Wonderful Osalo. I am very grateful uh, for your presence here today. Girls, today you have heard from a couple of experts in the field on this very important conversation about digital safety in the modern world. Our goal today is to empower you with knowledge and strategies to navigate the digital landscape safely and confidently. I will be the first to acknowledge the significance of the digital world in your lives. I know social media is very important to a lot of you. Smartphones, the internet, they're all incredible tools for communication, for learning, and for self-expression. However, they come with challenges and risk and protecting your online privacy is very, very crucial. So let me quickly highlight uh, 10 important points from the speakers. They've all given you very, very good strategies on how to keep yourself safe in the digital world. So uh, number one, strong password. Always set strong password make your password unique across your accounts. Don't be using the same password in all of the different accounts that you have online. Number two, enable two-factor authentication like WhatsApp, you're all using WhatsApp. Make sure you have your two-factor authentication enabled on it. Be careful about sharing your personal information like your full name, your address, your PIN, or any code sent to your phone whether it's online or somebody calling you on the phone to say, oh, give me that, that code that I just sent to your phone right now. Do not share those kinds of information with anybody. Number three, only accept friend requests from people you know in real life. On, on, on Facebook, don't accept a friend request from a friend of your friend that you don't know. Make sure these are people that you know. And also once you've already accepted a, a friend request for someone and you are getting another second, another third one from the same name, you'd be suspicious of that and make sure that you verify before you accept their request. Number four, if you encounter cyberbullying or online harassment, don't engage. Don't engage them. Don't start talking back and saying things back to the person. Block the person and report the incident to a trusted adult or authority figure. Number five, guard your online reputation. I think that has been mentioned there. Think before you post. Remember that whatever 
you share online can have long lasting consequences. Always remember that you uh, 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 always, uh, uh, always consider how your digital presence reflects on your real life reputation. Understand that your online actions have a digital footprint. And guess what? Universities, which is your next step after leaving secondary school, and employers, they often check social media profiles. So ensure that your digital uh, self represents your best self. Number six, be cautious of online strangers, people you don't know, and they try to manipulate you for your personal information or for other inappropriate purposes. If someone makes you uncomfortable online, tell a trusted adult immediately. Number seven, avoid being scammed. Be very wary of suspicious emails or messages asking for your personal information, asking for money, asking for you to come and invest, asking you different questions. If you must respond, verify the sender's identity before responding. And guess what? If it sounds too good to be true, it's probably not true. Number eight, sexting. They've, they've talked about this already. Never share explicit or nude photos or videos of yourself. Even with someone that you trust, do not do it. Once something is online, you can hardly take it back. It, it just spreads like wildfire and it's not something that you can ever have control over. Number nine, remember to take breaks from screens. Don't be on your phone 24 hours a day. Overuse of digital devices can have negative effects on your mental state, and it might, you, you might just go and do something that you are not supposed to do. And it also has negative effects on your physical health. Your eyes start to get weak when you're on the screen for so many hours in the day. And finally, number 10, seek help. If you encounter any concerning online situations or feel overwhelmed, don't hesitate to talk to a trusted adult, a teacher, or a counselor. You are not alone. There are resources available to help. Please ask for help. In the digital age, being informed and vigilant about online safety is very, very essential. By following the guidelines uh, that the speakers have laid out today and staying aware of the digital landscape, you can, you can navigate it confidently and safely. Remember, your online presence is an extension of your real self. So make it one that reflects your values and your aspirations. Stay safe. Make the most of the incredible opportunities that the digital world offers. And um, as you are learning how to protect yourselves in this vast digital world, I cannot end this talk without talking to you um, about how to be a part of the solution and become a cybersecurity professional yourself. Like you have heard, I am a cybersecurity professional, and it is a very, very exciting career. Girls, it's time to break the mold and shatter the glass ceiling in the world of cybersecurity. In this digital age, cybersecurity is more important than ever. And it's not just a man's world. Don't let anybody tell you, it's only, there's a voice cause, it's only boys that, no, it's not just a man's world. It's a girl's world too. Let's quickly explore the exciting field of cybersecurity and discuss a little bit about how you can become a part of it. So first of all, cybersecurity is all about protecting digital systems, protecting networks and data from unauthorized access, from damage and from theft. It's a field that is in high demand because the digital world continues to expand after your secondary school, you can study computer science or cybersecurity in the university. You can study courses in programming and creating applications, networking, or cloud computing. 
But right now, uh, you can also start to educate yourself on various cyber threats that are out there, such as malware, viruses, hacking, phishing, and social engineering by watching freely available YouTube videos about cybersecurity. You can start doing that right now in your spare time. Instead of spending so much time on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on TikTok, try to learn some things from the free uh, YouTube videos that are available to everybody. You can learn to code also and become a secure application programmer. Another thing that I want also from you is that you should pay attention and show interest in STEM programs that maybe your alumni or your school, they are offering to you, such as STEM boot camps, Scratch, robotics. They're being offered, show interest in, in these kinds of program if you are interested in becoming a cybersecurity professional. Another one is that you should seek mentors in the field who can guide you and provide valuable insights. If you are interested, try to find people that are in the field that you can talk to. I am available, Ibadan Grammar School students, I'm available, uh, you can reach me. And uh, if you ask the school, they will give you my contact information. L also, don't let stereotypes or biases deter you. Don't let anybody tell, oh, girls don't do that. Oh, a girl should be this, a girl should be something else. No, don't let those deter you. Have confidence in your own abilities. You can do it. And once you get there and you are in the cybersecurity profession, ethical conduct is very essential because you are now going to have skills that you can use to do and undo, but use your own skills responsibly, use it legally. In conclusion, girls, the world of cybersecurity is an exciting and rewarding one. It's not just about protecting system, it's, it's as, uh, systems, it's about safeguarding the digital world for everyone. Your skills and perspectives are needed and the possibilities are limitless. With determination, hard work, and a commitment to ethical conduct, you can make a significant impact in the field of cybersecurity. Embrace the challenge, break barriers, help secure the digital future. The cybersecurity world is waiting for you. And I'll end by saying the air patria, which means for God and for our fatherland. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, girls. Thank you, speakers. Thank you, teachers. Happy International Day of the Girl Child. I appreciate you all. Thank you for having me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mrs. Olaomi. That was that was a very inspiring, you know, um, speech. And more girls should actually get involved in being cybersecurity professionals. More girls should also get involved in tech because the agenda is never a barrier. Thank you so much, ma'am. So um, we've got a lot, a whole lot of questions that, and some I, I like. So I'm just going to put the, the questions that I like together and give to any of the speakers to, to um, answer. So I see questions on, um, on um meeting someone online. I think um Mrs. Omolat really talked about